Hey guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I'm out on Discount Friday! So I'm thrift store shopping, and I'm all by my lonesome again. My husband is off work again, so <laughs> thankfully, I hate that he has to work on Saturdays, but it's great that he gets off on Fridays, so I get to go thrift store shopping by myself. Um, and last time I picked up a whole bunch of cool stuff, so I'm really hoping that I can get some other really great stuff that I can flip to sell. I know I'm not supposed to be thrift store shopping right now because we're moving soon, but I don't know, I just can't stop. <laughs> At least I'm staying on top of my lifting so my inventory piles aren't getting too big. Um, but today's a beautiful day. It's a great fall morning. Um, it's a little chilly outside, but I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on inside and see what I can find. Show you in a minute. Okay, so I've gone to my first store and it was okay. I got a few things, but I just stopped at this little church thrift store that I only go to once in a blue moon because it's very, very tiny. I don't even know if I can show you in the background. It's this little tiny house. And they're also, I can't show you, but they're also doing a yard sale today. <laughs> so I got a picture for myself at the yard sale, but I got oodles of stuff in there. Tons of Meech bags, North Face, Athleta, tons of good stuff new with tags brooks brothers shirts white house black market jackets i'm just so excited brand new pair of rockport boots uh, so when i get home i cannot wait to show you guys what i picked up so hang tight bags, things I got. brooks brothers brand new columbia i'll show you what we got Okay, so I just inventoried everything I picked up and I'm so excited I have so much to share with you. So hang tight with me. I'm gonna show you what I picked up, how much I paid for it, and what I think I might get for it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started because it's a lot of stuff. Super excited. All the stuff. <laughs> All right, so uh, from the tiny little thrift store that I just left, uh, let me show you those items. So what happens is they only took cash. So what I did was I just inventoried everything and then split it up evenly and everything ended up being $3. So I'm just gonna say the first batch was all $3. <laughs> um, the first thing I picked up, there's two pairs of shoes that I got. Um, this here is a pair of Clarks and they are suede and they're really cute cloggers. And I think I might keep these for myself, but if I decide to sell these, I'm hoping to get about 30 to $40 for those because they are gently used. I almost thought they were new and then there's a couple little scuffs on the front toe. So um, if I can get them for 30 or $40, I may not keep them, but they're my favorite color and they're really pretty. Uh, what else did I get? Brand new Rockport ankle boots. And actually I forgot to look these up, but they've got to be worth something because they're brand new. <laughs> Only paid $3 for these. So man, if I can get 40 or $50 for these, I will be super excited, but I think I'm keeping these too. That's the worst part about thrift store shopping when you find really good stuff. So just depends on the selling point as to whether I'll keep it or not. All right, I also got a huge haul of Meech, M-I-C-H-E purses. So these are the home brand magnetic purses you guys have seen in some of my other videos. Some of them sell well, some of them don't. I still have a few that I'm still uh, getting rid of, but I couldn't pass this up for $3 each. Um, and also there is a base in here. <laughs> so the bases sometimes go for more and what it is is the base and then you wrap the magnetic shells around them so you don't have to change your purses out. So you get tons of purses with only one base, which is great. Um, there's also a bunch of the handles. Sometimes the handles will sell. So I'll have to kind of see whether I'll be better off to sell them in a lot like this um, or maybe piece them out. I might even piece out the handles. It just depends. So I have to look it up different ways. So be creative when you're doing your listings because sometimes the lots do sell better, especially if you have some stale ones, or I might even take some from my inventory and put them in with these. Um, I think I ended up with six shells, I think. It's this really pretty Hope purse one. This is the base that I got, but it has the pretty um, handles and it's in really good shape. This one's neat. This is a map cover. This one is a basic black one, but it also comes with the handles and new chain handles this one i love this one is a blue and brown like a canvas type shell this one's a little bit too used it's got really dirty because it's like light tan but it still has these pretty birds and trees on it and then i also got this one which is like a giraffe print i think i've sold this one before with the red <laughs> on it so and actually i didn't realize it there's a mini <laughs> that matches on the inside. I didn't even know that was in there until just now. So this goes to a different size. There's different size ones. Um, and it also even says what 
name the design is. You'd luck out if you can get the name on there. Sometimes the older styles don't have the names on them, but I can sell that too. So I can probably sell this as a set by itself. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. All right. Um, I also picked up a couple other purses there. This is a nice travel on wallet. These are those RFID security wallets. So when you travel, people can't scan the inside and get your credit card information. I may actually see if my sister is interested in this because she's going on a cruise next year to Europe. I'm so jealous, but she wanted me to keep an eye out for some of these things for her. So she has first dibs on it. If not, I will sell this. Um, hopefully I can get maybe $15 for the wallet. So. Um, the other thing that caught my eye today was another bag of Lini purse. I do like these purses. Um, so for $3, I picked this up. It is quite dirty on the inside, so I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit. Um, or see if my sister wants one of these, because these are great travel purses as well, um, that I could probably get about $20 for this. I think the basic ones sell better for me in the bag of Lini than the designs or fancy colors. All right. We might be getting a visitor here in a second. <laughs> Kyla wants to come join the video. Um, let's see. What else did I get? Um, I did buy this for myself. It's brand new. It's a cute little like vesty throw type outfit. I it's do. brand new with the tags. Now it comes I from do. Cole. It's called, oh, you want to show them this? Yeah. Come here. Say hi. Hi. What did mommy buy you? Halloween shirt. A Halloween shirt. It's super cute, isn't it? Yeah. Kyla's made of candy, so that's all she eats, I think. <laughs> so this was kind of cute and perfect for her. <laughs> right? Yeah, it was. Okay, let's put it over here for our clean pile. So anyway, so I bought this for myself, which will actually match the Rockport boots. Really cute, actually. Oh. So, I don't know, I got a whole outfit. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Mommy. Same store still. Hang on one second, sweetheart. Um, This is a, if I can get it up here. Yeah, Brooks Brothers. This is a woman's shirt. This is a mommy shirt. Here's the tag. I love Brooks Brothers, but it's a women's because it's a size 10. But where can I find it? It is new, brand new. And if you can see it, it is $135 retail. It's on sale for $100. <laughs> so whoever bought it and paid $100 for it decided to donate it instead of wear it. <laughs> so that would be super great if I could get about $75 for that. But we'll see. I haven't looked that up yet. So we'll see. Um, the list just keeps going. It was a good day. Um, this I just bought because I thought it was cute. Uh, this is called Almost Famous. Sometimes these things sell well, sometimes they don't. They're hit and miss. But even if I can get $15 for that, sorry. <laughs> Kyla, they want to see. Uh, for $3, I couldn't pass that up. Okay, that's Kyla showing your Elsa dress. Yeah. Okay, let's put it down. Thank you. Why don't you show them the watch that you got? This is an American Girl watch. Uh, I may let Kyla keep it because I don't think it's worth much, but I bought this at the first thrift store for just a couple bucks. So, are you keeping that? Yeah. Okay, go play. Okay. Okay, what else did I pick up? I should have looked up more of these things before I did the video. This is a really pretty, look at this. This is Avanti. It's a suede embroidered jacket. It is so beautiful. Do you see this with the little birds on it? Oh my goodness. So I don't know. This has got to fetch a good dollar for it. <laughs> this one, we paid $3 for it. So crazy, 100% suede leather jacket with this really pretty embroidery. So that also picked up this awesome White House Black Market long trench coat. This is so awesome. I'm hoping to get at least $30 for this. First time picking this brand up, but I keep seeing it everywhere on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, so I had to pick it up. <laughs> it's a company called okay, Athleta, uh, so it's athletic wear. Um, yes, hold on a second, sweetie. Okay. So it's kind of like the Lululemon, but it's Athleta, which is the new thing. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm glad you're okay. Keep playing. Okay. Um, anyway, for $3, I picked this up. I did look at some comps, and it looks like they sell for about $30, so that was pretty neat. And then I picked up two of these North Face fleeces. Okay. A green one and a really Mom, cute. Okay. Kyla's jumping on the bed, I'm sorry. And a white one with gray on it. So these should go for about $15 to $20. Um, a couple men's shirts I also picked up there is another Brooks Brothers. I liked it because it was the larger size. My light's all wacky today, sorry. XXL, this is like a green plaid shirt. And another Brooks Brothers red cute plaid 
shirt in really good condition and then I also this is the first time I picked this brand up but again I've seen other people selling it so I'm hoping this is a very high-end men's clothing line um, this is a I think it's pronounced Brioni Brioni <laughs> they make suits and high-end like I said men's dress clothes um, and they are made in Italy I believe let's see here it's hundred percent cotton now the prices are all over the place on the comps for these. Some sell as little as 30 and some sell as high as 100. So I'm not quite sure what makes the difference, but I'm gonna have to do some research. I may start in the middle at 50 and see where I go from there, um, but it's in great condition. So I'm excited about that one. Okay. All right, almost done. So the next store I went to, oh, I almost forgot this one. So be careful with purses because unless you know they're authentic, I would not suggest selling them. So I'm gonna sit on this for a little while until I know that it's authentic. And maybe you guys can help me with that. So if you're really good at purses, give me a hand. <laughs> so I picked up this really big coach purse um, at the $3 thrift store. Um, and it's, it looks completely authentic to me. It's super nice, great stitching the inside. And it was important when you're authenticating. It does have the tags. Sorry, trying to juggle everything here. And I know you have to look for the stitching on it. It's got the nice metal tag there. The inside is so clean and nice. This is what the, ah, they all have these um, branded labels on them with uh, style numbers. So I'm gonna do a little research, but it looks real. I, I don't know, I have a hard time thinking that this isn't. Now, being that it was $3, even comes with an extra strap. I mean, it's huge. Anyway, being that it's $3, I bought it, but then I realized it has some stains on the back or at least some spillage of something. So also, if you know how to clean these really well, nicely and gently, if you could give a comment below, <laughs> help me out, help the sister out. But again, you don't wanna compromise your account, so don't list anything unless you really know that it's real um, because eBay will shut you down for selling a fake, which is illegal. <laughs> so we don't wanna do that. But again, I think this thrift store is pretty reputable and I don't think they would sell something that was fake, honestly. All right, so the next thrift store, I did pick up these shoes. If I can get them out of the bag. These are Polo Sport Ralph Lauren suede loafers. And I think these are going for about $25 oh, online. Body, okay, go. Um, these I only paid $2.50 for, so that was a good deal. Okay, sorry about that. Kyla obviously is potty training, so she wants to announce it to everybody. <laughs> She's potty training. Sorry. Life of a stay-at-home mom, right? No, you have... Okay, you're gonna do my hair while we do this? Yeah. Okay, let's get through this. Okay, so mom. the next store, um, I picked up this really cute purse. Um, I had never heard of this before. It's called Spartina, um, but it looks like this purse was never used. It's beautiful. It's kind of on the heavy end, so it's really heavy duty. Um, but these seem to retail for about $40. Not retail, I'm sorry, resell for $40. And for this, I only paid, let's see here, $4. So if I can get $40 for that, that'd be awesome. Um, and then just a couple other things. I did pick up this suit jacket. Brooks Brothers. <laughs> So hopefully I can get about $30 for this, $40 if I'm lucky. Um, and for that, I Mom. only paid, hang on, sweetheart. Mom. $4. Mom. And then I picked Mom. up, wait, sweetie, this jacket. Mom. And it's by a company Mom. called Giant Pro Cycling Team. <laughs> But it's got Mom. graphics down the sleeve and it's got graphics Mom. on the back. Um, let's see here. These are re these are selling for a lot of money and I didn't see this one specifically, but there was one on there that was selling for $80. So I don't know what makes them rare or specific. Um, this one does have some sort of logo on the front called the Lynx. So I don't know what that is. Um, but let's see, I only Mom. paid, hang on sweetheart, $5 for that. So hot. you're hot, we'll go upstairs and get a drink. No, no, hot. All right, and then I also picked up two watches. I already showed you Kyla's, and then this one caught my eye at the register. It's actually, eh, can't get it to show up there. It's a golfer. It's kind of hard to see, can't see it. Um, but it's by a company called Pierre Nicole, and it looked like one had just sold for $40. And for this, I only paid $6, because it was 50% off. So that was a good price, I thought, for that. 
The next store I went to, a little disappointed. One of my favorite thrift stores, um, Forever, has done half price on Fridays, at least their clothing. And then once a month, they would do half price the entire store. So I always did everything on my discount Friday. Well, I found out today that they no longer do that, but they're doing random sales every day. <laughs> So there's no way to really track. You just have to show up and see what the sale is for the day, which I like and don't like. There's kind of a surprise element, but also I can't plan and know whether I should go if it's worth my time. So I'll just go every couple of weeks because it is a small thrift store and just see if I get lucky. Mom, so today's sale, Mercy up. I am sitting up my beautician. Today's sale was for all clothing. It was buy one, get one free. So I guess you pay the higher price and you get the second item for free. My so hair. I my found, hair. okay, do my hair. Move hell. My move hell. Okay, thank you. So I found this really nice uh, North Face men's puffer jacket, um, but it was $10. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to spend $10 for this, but I knew if I could find something haircut. else that I could make Mommy it worth haircut. it. Um, so, and these are retailing, some of these are retailing for $80. So I'm hoping if I can even get $50 for this, it would be awesome because it's in great condition. It barely looks used. So that'd be awesome. So in the end, since that was $10, I found this vest, <laughs> which is Columbia and it's brand new. And I am going to keep this because it's so cute. Um, but this was free. So I actually divvied out the amount. So the North Face was $5 and this one's gonna be $5 that I'm keeping. So <laughs> that way it kind of kept the cost down a little bit. Um, gosh. I think that's all I got. I know it's tons of stuff, so hopefully you're patient enough to look at it, but leave me a comment below if you have any questions about the brands that I showed you guys or share with me what you guys picked up this week. Um, also, make sure you like the videos and subscribe to the cool channel one. and you can sure and make sure you share the videos no, as no, well. All right, guys, until no, next time, happy thrifting.